What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another top 16 deck profile from the ARG Circuit Series in Phoenix, Arizona that took place this past weekend. And this deck profile is going to be on the lone Cosmo deck that could. Amongst the top 16, there were 12 Pendulum variants, 3 Monarchs, and then 1 Cosmo. So Cosmo was literally the only deck that was not Monarchs or Pendulum based. And this deck, it looks very standardized, and it's not playing artifacts, and I can kind of understand why you wouldn't choose to play artifacts or why this person didn't because really the artifact engine was really cool really cool and really good before Bosch and actually for that little bit of time after Bosch um, but with the monarchs with the monarch decks introduction reintroduction to the game and the fact that Erebus is basically like another Ignister that you have to deal with there's just so many factors that are going into bullying this deck and the artifact engine literally does nothing against mermails and monarchs um, and like those decks just try to bully you out of the game with big monsters and things like Dweller and Erebus being like Ignister and like artifacts really only have any merit against the Pepe matchup which I mean you should honestly expect a lot of Pepe but if you have all these dead cards in your main deck you could potentially lose game ones to Monarchs as well as Mermails and that's kind of something that gives merit to going back towards a standardized deck list although I still think the artifact variant is very good but anyway the deck list that this gent decided to play Triple Farm Girl, Triple Tin Can, the two best cards in the deck. Tin Can's actually a little bit better than Farm Girl now because it allows you to go first, make plays, and it also decreases your reliance on the battle phase. Triple Good Witch, one Wicked Witch, Triple Dark Destroyer, two Dark Eclipser, Triple Slip Rider, and one Straw Man. For Hand Traps, he played three Ghost Ogre and three Valor in the main. No Max Seas, anything like that. Uh, if you wanted to change this deck up, if I were to play this deck, I would actually probably drop one Valor and drop one Ghost Ogre and put two Max Seas in. Keep it at six Hand Traps but just make it a more wide variety of hand trap. Uh, for spells, only two Cosmotown, triple e Telly, Rageki, and double Dark Hole. Traps, triple Solemn Notice, triple Call of the Haunted, and one Oasis of the Dragon Souls, just to abuse your interactions with Tin Can, basically making it where it invalidates whatever they pick. Uh, because if they don't pick the, co the Dark Destroyer, then you just get it back, and you just do the things that you needed to do there. There's only 12 cards in this dude's side deck, or not side deck, extra deck, and, um, I mean, you don't really need an extra deck with Cosmos anyway, but still, like, it's worth to kind of fill it out with different cards. And, uh, so yeah, like, I just, I find it interesting that he just decided not to just find three other cards to put in. Maybe he just didn't have time, whatever. But anyway, double Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon for the mirror, obviously. One Cyber End and one Cyber Twin for if his, uh, Cyber Dragon Nova ends up getting, uh, disrupted. Which is actually something really cool, um, that is just a thought that you can have, is that... If you're playing the mirror and you're trying to go for an Infinity play or something like that and they disrupt it with Dark Destroyer, then you can just summon Cyber End. Um, or if they disrupt it with some other method, a different matchup, and you know it's a game with like Cyber Twin, you can do that. Um, it's just a very nice little tech that he had room for in his extract because Cosmos don't really use one. But for Synchros, that obviously can just be used and accessed with Valor, Cypher Lord Omega, Scarlight, Red Dragon Archfiend, Moon, uh, Moon Rose, oh shit, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, then Goya Guardian, and then the only seeds they chose to run were a Nova, an Infinity, and a Castell. Uh, for a side deck, one Fog King, double Majesty's Fiend, a triple Cyber Dragon Core for the Mirror, obviously, a triple Twin Twister, two Cosmo Light Sword, which I'm sure probably came in versus like Pepe and stuff like that, where they just leave stuff in defense mode, um, and you can like take advantage of that. And then uh, double Storm Forth, one Bottomless, and one Solemn Warning. Now, this deck is just basically extremely standardized. Um, I do think that there is merit to playing the Artifact Engine if you're going to YCS Atlanta because that's just got a bigger safety net of games that you'll just automatically win, at least in my testing and my eyes of what I've seen happen with, like, these decks. Um, but the Artifact Engine is very big. It's like either Hand Traps or Artifacts. You have to basically just make the choice, um, and some people are just going the choice of Hand Traps just because that gives your deck more merit going second again as it used to have with just farm girl existing. Uh, but the deck does also just have a lot of merit going first because of Tin Can's existence. Just all of these factors uh, come into play. Uh, as most of you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Cosmos, but I do just like acknowledge like their position in the game. And like, it's just, this deck is just extremely standard and there's no honest in here either, um, which is probably something that could be added. I don't know. I just think that it's not the right time to play Cosmos. And if you're gonna play Cosmos, you need to orient it towards beating your most favorable matchup, which is Pepe, because there are so many other decks now that exist that just try to bully you out of existence in the form of Mermails and Monarchs, specifically. But anyway, that is all for this deck profile and video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. 
Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this deck list in the comments down below. Any changes that you might make, if you want to try it out, whatever, let me know in a comment down below. Click on that if you have not. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me make money. There's no reason to lie to you guys about that. If you have an ad block enabled, disable it for a few seconds. It's just a great way to show your support and helps me out more than I can ever let you guys know or stress. And I'd be greatly appreciative if that is something you could take the time out of your day to do. But anyway, that is all for this video. If there's any other decks you'd like me to profile or anything like that, leave those in the comments down below. But as always, guys, Take care.